I think I watered down the coffee a little too much. So I'm feeling extremely crusty. I haven't washed my hair. I don't even know when the last time I washed my hair. It's just so greasy. It's literally an oil spell. I've been wearing this sweater for like five days straight. I haven't showered in like four days. I've been locked away in this room for God knows how long. First of all, how are you guys doing? It's been a really long time since I posted. Uh, I've been having a rough time recently and I, I just got back to work. It's like the holiday, like uh, just everything's happening and I'm stressed out. It's clearly showing my mental health is just not too great right now. I look like a bum and today we're gonna fix that. There is no better way to kick off the new year 2023 with a glow up. So today I need to do something with these crusty ass nails. I have to shower and shave. I need to detox the crap out of my hair, wash my face, put skincare on, do my makeup, just get my life overall together. I need to do my brows, like look at these. And I also need to shave my mustache. I might, I might as well, as well just, just shave, shave my, entire my entire face. face. And today we're gonna be doing that. All right, wish me luck, it's go time. Okay, first things first, I need to wash my hands because they smell like Indian food. I was eating chana batura last night with my friend. It's just like the curry's all up in my hand now. It just like smells like spices. So I wanna wash my hands. <laughs> It low-key still smells like Indian food. I think it's just like ingrained in my fingers. It's kind of like when you chop off garlic and your fingers just smell like garlic for like a month. The first part of the globe is getting new contact lenses. Look how nasty. I don't change out my contact lenses as I honestly should. Like these are bi-weekly, so I should be changing out them out every two weeks, but I change them out like probably once a month or even more. That's nasty and so bad for your eyes. Literally don't do that. I feel like my eyes are gonna thank me. They're literally praising me right now. They're like, thank God. Clean contact lenses. Okay, I know what you may be thinking. Why did you change into this bomb ass workout set? Well, let me tell you, in order to look good, I need to feel good, okay? Or in order to feel good, I need to look. Okay, anyway, I need to work out because I just feel like working out would just give me this glow, this like inner glow and outer glow. And I think it's just a good thing to do. Um, so we're gonna work out. I took out this yoga mat that has been sitting in my closet for months now. And we're gonna use it today, finally. So I am going to load up a workout on YouTube. Um, okay. Okay, I've decided that I'm gonna do a Daisy Keach abs workout and a Daisy Keach butt workout. So. That in total is going to be about 20 minutes. Did that look cool? I don't know if you guys remember that era that I had when I was living in LA. We were like working out every morning. We were eating breakfast. We were doing the most. Um, and I kind of let go of myself a little bit. So we're trying to get back into the groove because it's time to take back my life. All right, we're getting started. Yeah. Bro, why are abs so difficult? This is my favorite exercise. Ugh. It's like not that bad. <laughs> Y'all see my abs yet? <clears throat> All right, it's time to build a booty. It already burns. Y'all, this hurts so much. I just finished both of the workouts. I am so tired. And it's time to take a shower because this greasy hair has got to go. I. This, I'm just fed up with it. I hate it. I think Beanie wants to exercise too. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do? I only have a towel on right now, but I'm gonna go run and go grab a robe because everyone wears those robes in all of the globe videos and I just, I need to fit in. Girl, who is she? Oh my God, look at her. I stole this from my mom's room. All right, it's time for skincare. Um, in the mornings, I like to use a vitamin C and this just, I don't know, this one's from Alamus and it feels really good and it smells really good. Then this Sunday Riley Afterglow Vitamin C 
moisturizer as well i read somewhere that you're not really supposed to use too much moisturizer because i think it like clogs your pore like i don't even know but if you use too much moisturizer it could signal to your skin or something to not exfoliate or whatever and then cause a whole bunch of texture problems so i'm starting to use a little bit less and i feel like my skin feels less heavy and i like it so that's literally all i do i just did vitamin c serum and then a vitamin c moisturizer <laughs> it's time to shave okay we're on the floor now because i need to get a good angle to shave my legs. Usually I do this in the shower, but today I decided to do it outside the shower so I can film it for you guys because I'm just such a nice person. So I have my razor and I have my body oil. And then, oh, I, and then I rub it all over my legs. This filming is more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Is this a better angle? I don't know. But anyway, look how beautiful my leg looks after this using this oil. All right, we are commencing the shave. Can you even see? Boy, how do people do this? We're going in. Beautiful, luxurious, gorgeous, slay. Yo, my legs are so smooth right now. Okay, it's time to do the other leg. E. I am never shaving outside the bathroom again. It's winter time and I'm shaving my legs. Like, I don't understand what's wrong with me. Like, literally no one's gonna see my legs. Y'all, I feel like a brand new person. My legs, silky. My face, smooth. <gasps> I need to shave my face. Okay, we're back here again and we're gonna shave my face. I bought these eyebrow razors from Daiso, so we're gonna try them out. All right, let's just get into it. All right, this eyebrow is done. Let's move on to the next one. This one I have a few pimples around, so I gotta be kind of careful here. Ow! My eyebrows burn. Ugh! Okay. I feel like that's good enough. Ugh! My eyebrows burn. <laughs> All right, on to the rest of the face. I'm gonna put more serum because my face burns. Oh my God. So I'm using a bigger razor for this part because I feel like it just makes more sense. So I'm using this one. I don't even think you can see it. Like, it doesn't even pick up on the camera, but I definitely have hairs here. Wow, my skin is red. My eyebrows burn! Ugh, okay. We're doing my mustache now. Y'all see the hair that came off of my face? Okay, I rinsed my face again, so we're gonna do my skincare once again. Ugh, I'm pissed. But I look cute though, so it's okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's literally stinging my face. <sighs> Oh my god, I think there's like cuts in my face. Oh, ah, uh, it's burning. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god. I don't think you understand how much that burned. You know when you get a cut and there's alcohol on it? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm like literally so scared. <laughs> Damn, how did it get so dark in here? Anyway, the next part of the glow up is um, doing my makeup. So we should probably get into that. Y'all, my eyebrows still burn. I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Guys, I was just looking in the mirror. I can literally see specks of blood. Do you see that? <gasps> and right there, <gasps> I literally cut my face. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lava lamp on. If you know, you know. Let's just get into my makeup. Mm. I need to get situated here. I've been using the Milk Primer recently and I'm just kind of bomb. So last night I went to an Indian restaurant to eat food with my friend and we decided that we're gonna go out tonight and I totally forgot about that until now. So I'm basically getting ready early and this is just great because it's a two in one. Because now instead of doing my makeup for absolutely no reason, I have a reason. Yay! Oh, where is my brush? Ooh. I always see Erica Titus use a spatula when she puts on her foundation and concealer. And so I'm like thinking, do I need to get a spatula? Will it just make it look 10 times better? I don't know. I'm just gonna go in with concealer and touch up these little areas here. I got this new vanity mirror that's right in front of me that you can see is emanating this light. And it's so great because it's so bright and I can see everything. I used to be like freaking doing my makeup with this little tiny mirror. <laughs> I was literally doing my makeup like this. 
the entire time. Finally, I have a mirror and I'm so happy. I'm gonna try this new uh, Maybelline. It's not new, but new to me. It's a contour uh, stick. Well, it's actually just concealer in a really dark shade for my skin color. And we're gonna try using it because I saw Alex Earl use it and holy crap, that's really dark. All right, we've already committed. So let's just I'm gonna do like my nose here. Oh God, did I ruin my makeup? Let's see if I can blend this out. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. It's a little, I think it's a little too cool tone for my skin color, but it really works. Wow. Hmm, I am a fan. Look at that. Look at my nose. Is that not just so cute? Adorable. We're gonna top it off with some Rare Beauty blush. It's really beautiful. It's just like a really cute, rosy red. Hello? Do you want to just eat the food while I do my makeup? Okay. Okay, sure. Sushi! Wow, look how cute my nose is! I haven't looked this good in a long time, so excuse me for being a little excited because I look a little bit better. We're going with the Rare Beauty highlighter. As you can tell, I'm just a Rare Beauty fanatic. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably use the Rare Beauty setting spray too. That's it. And then, oh my God, Jesus Christ. That was like a little too much, okay. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some powder contour. This is just the Too Faced bronzer. Oh my nose is okay. Gorgeous. Y'all, my lips are dry. Are you guys lip balm girlies? Cause like I have like 10 lip balms. Each of my bags, I'll have like one lip balm. And then like by my nightstand, I have a lip balm. At my desk, I have a lip balm. Like I am stacked with lip balms. Like if I don't have a lip balm, like it's over. We're gonna do a quick eyeliner off camera, of course, because she's difficult and I cannot handle any more pressure. All right, she's done. I hope they look even. Okay. Ugh. I need to stop touching it. Guys, I wanna put you on like the best makeup tip I have. This really applies if you have very sparse eyelashes. So typically like when you have sparse eyelashes, your eyelids show through a lot like here. So what I like to do is I'll take like an eyeliner, gel eyeliner, go under my waterline on the top like this and it'll just like really snatch things up. All right, now you can see like it looks so much better, right? Like, is it just me? Like, I just feel like it's so much cleaner. All right, besties, the moment that we've been all been waiting for. Eyebrows. Let's hope that it, oh wow, it burns. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Ooh, also I'm using a Morphe brow pencil. This is my favorite brow pencil ever, ever. I, like, I literally have gone through like seven tubes of this, seven pencils. Yo, look how clean my brows look. Ah! All right, we're gonna do the finishing touches, lip liner, and then we also have to do the lashes. It's such a beautiful, rosy, rusty red. Let's curl these lashes. I'm so terrified of curling my lashes because last time I curled my lashes, I literally chopped off my lashes and I was traumatized. And here I am today still using an eyelash curler. But you know what? I have to. It's like the only way I can achieve this look. Look how curled my eyelashes are. I use the Shiseido eyelash curler. And I'm gonna use my tubing mascara from Blink. I love tubing mascaras because they're just so easy to remove. Like all you need is a little water, rinse it off a little bit, and then you're good to go. All right, this is the final makeup look. And then I'm just gonna grab my Rare Beauty setting spray. Douse, douse my face in it. Oh my God, that burns. Oh, literally like, why my eyebrows burn so bad? Okay, it's time to do our hair. Okay, 
I brought my curling iron to my desk and I have a hairbrush. If you guys don't remember, I cut my bangs pretty horrifically like two weeks ago. So we're dealing with these pieces now. But I'm excited because I haven't curled my hair in a while and I feel like it's just gonna look really cute. Also a word of caution for anyone who wants to cut their own bangs or get bangs or whatever. They only look cute when they're styled. Like when they're pinned straight, it just looks like this. Okay, so just be aware. We're just gonna do the normal curls that I usually do because I don't really know how to do it any way else. Okay, slay. Okay, I finished this side and I'm gonna do this side. The more that I look at my face, the more I kind of want to put lashes on. I haven't put on lashes for a while and like I feel like it'd be nice to have lashes on you know what I mean I don't know lashes just give like that glam vibe but then like the no lashes is like clean aesthetic like sharp hey girl finished curling my hair look at her oh my god literal princess okay I can't stand it anymore I think I'm gonna put lashes on dude it's like pouring outside and it's so rainy I don't think I'm going out tonight. Okay, we're here on my bed because I need to figure out which lash I want to use. Okay, so I have like these three. I'm gonna go with this one. This one is called Starry Night. I think it looks really cute. Adorable! Okay, so I'm taking out the lash and I'm like trimming a little bit. Before we go ahead and glue the lash on, I want to thicken my eyeliner because this type of eyeliner I did is the type of eyeliner I do when I wear mascara, but with lashes, I do a little bit more dramatic because when you put the lashes on, they kind of get lost. Okay, I finished my eyeliner. I'm going to add this on. This is what it looks like. I think it looks so good. Wow, I don't know if you can tell it's so dark on the side of my face, but let me do the other side second lash going on mm, I look so cute. Oh my god. I feel like this looks so much better now with the lashes on do you guys think so? Wait, why does this side look so intense? What the heck? I'm gonna try to balance out this side with some more liner. The sides are not even Okay is that better? I can't tell. So like, why is it so dark on this side? Okay guys, my makeup is done, my hair is done, and uh, we're gonna have to start on the nails. And I think that will be the last part of the glow up. Oh wait, I need a fit too, like what is this? Okay y'all, we're choosing between these nails. I really don't know which one I like. We have like a short little moment here and then we have like a longer moment. What are we thinking? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with the short because I think I'm going into work next week and I feel like having shorter nails would just be more professional. All right, let's open her up. I love Glamnetic nails. The nails are done. Look how cute these are. Oh, that's just so cute. Oh my God. Also, look at the lava lamp. She's fully warmed up. It's so cool. Wow. I love it. Look at Mr. Beanie. Hi, what are you doing? I'm gonna have to pick an outfit right now. And I've been like thinking in my head, like what outfit do I want? I was kind of thinking about it and this is a glow up video. And I don't want to wear something like too dramatic because sometimes I just don't feel too confident in something that's just like extreme. So today I think we're just gonna go with something that's a little more everyday and like a very everyday basic style that I know I'm gonna feel confident and I'm gonna feel my best self in. And ladies and gentlemen, that is t-shirt and jeans. Ah! Oh my god, I feel like I'm like actually living now wow let me just set you guys down right here i'll give you a little fit check okay i'm so excited guys uh, let me take the clips out of my hair this is the vibe this is the glow up 
It's basic, but it's cute and it works. Honestly, something as simple as like putting on a t-shirt and jeans can be like really difficult for me sometimes because I'm always just in my pajamas or like sweats and like an oversized t-shirt like all the time and then it just it just it's just so easy to fall into that slump but this outfit is comfortable like don't get me wrong it's super comfortable but it's just like when I wake up in the morning I'm just not inclined to put on a pair of jeans you get what I mean? I'm so obsessed with my hair and my makeup. I just look and I feel really good. So if you guys are ever feeling like you're in a slump or you're just feeling like you're heading down that treacherous road to deep, deep depression, maybe just do your makeup or do your hair or put on an outfit or just do one thing for yourself to get yourself one step closer to self-care. And as soon as you do one thing, all these things will just kind of like slowly snowball into a bigger thing and then you just feel so much better unfortunately it's like extremely pouring rain right now if you live in the bay area like me um you'll know what i'm talking about because it's been pouring for the past like two weeks and it's just crazy so we've decided not to go out tonight because i'm not trying to walk in the pouring rain so um i guess i'm just gonna revel in my makeup and hair and just feel good for the rest of the day and then take it off and go to sleep. And tomorrow is gonna be a better day. So this marks the end of the vlog today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.